Alrighty, so we are going to fix a few things in this painting. Uh, one thing I noticed uh, when I stored these away, I started these paintings several years ago. Um, sometimes when you use linseed oil, it will, uh, with age, turn to a yellow. And so, therefore, I need to fix those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that first. I have a bunch of these started, or almost finished, but I want to change some things or add more details. Usually what I'll do is I'll put a rough coat down just to block it out wherever I want. And then I'll go ahead and add the detail back in afterwards. So today we're going to go ahead and uh, put this new white on. And when that dries, I'm going to try not to use, I'm just using the straight white this time, at least in these highlighted areas. And, um, Uh, also, I wanted to mention, when you go, if you're using oil paints, um, often white is one of the ones that take the longest to dry. At least that's what I've found. Um, there are different types of white. There's titanium white. And then there's like a zinc white. And there's some off whites and other stuff. But... Um, you have to be careful because um, some have chemicals in them that you don't really want to be exposed to. Um, and I'm bad for putting brushes in my mouth <laughs> um, when I'm painting in between things, uh, which I know is a bad habit. Uh, that's probably how Van Gogh went a little crazy. But uh, maybe that's my excuse for why I am also... Um, yeah, I just want to go in and fix these up. As you can see already, it looks nicer, at least um, where I'm viewing it. Uh, I do need to work on a few other ones also. What I usually do is I'll work on a few of these on parts, and then I'll pin them to a wall, and then I will... Um, go back in later. Um, I need to check. Um, I'll have to look at the original image on this. I can't remember if they're often on these characters. They'll have a white, uh, even though the eye itself is white, there is a, um, white highlight from light reflection. And I want to, um, see if that's there. And I'm going to have to do a different setup um, because uh, I can't paint on this table where my uh, computer is. There's just not enough room. So I think I'm going to have to bring up one of my old tables I used to have up here. It's like one of those folding ones. And make one for painting and one for doing video, like computer work or whatever, which I used to do. I do my unboxings on, at this, um, on the same table. Like literally, I can't, I'm gonna have to pull this down here. Um, I don't, uh, I need a different attachment, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead on, I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you um, some stuff I work on. I got a new light, but apparently it did not like being plugged into a wall outlet and it kept shutting off. So I just had to plug it directly into a USB outlet type thing. Um, it probably said that in the directions, but uh, <laughs> do you think I would read that? No. But I just figure a lot of these you can just plug into a regular thing, so... Uh, but yeah, that gets rid of that yellow and gives some nice highlights, which I like. And uh, 
I've always loved the costume characters so much. I would really love to have, I know some have been up for auction. I would love to get one of the Mickey heads. I found a, a person in like Spain or something that sells um, costumes and they have a really nice stitch one. I'll actually um, show you in this video. Uh, they have a really incredible, um, it's basically, uh, you can buy the entire Stitch costume. Um, and I guess the price is reasonable, but I don't want the entire costume. I just wanted the head, which I know is kind of weird, but I wanted to display it. And uh, they won't sell just the head. <laughs> um, so, uh, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I honestly think the costume looks better than Disney's. Um, it's just, uh, I like, I like how it's made. I'll have to show you a comparison. I always thought Stitch's costume for the parks always looked weird because, uh, his head and his body just don't match. I mean, Stitch is a small character anyways. Um, but I think they really need to work on fixing that. I mean, they fixed... Some of the other characters, like Buzz Lightyear's new new costume, looks way better than the original. Um, and uh, I would I would absolutely just love to have one of those. I was gonna have someone actually. At one point, I had someone working on a three D model for me, and uh, I don't know what happened with them. They just kind of flaked on me and disappeared. That, uh, that seems to be the thing with artists. <laughs> I do my best. It's My brain is horrible now. It's the only reason I usually forget it isn't because I, I don't want to remember things or, you know, whatever. So, yeah. I think I'm going to just fix a little bit up here. Um, make her mouth a little more detailed in the corner. Um, I haven't looked at these costumes in a while, so I'm not sure, not sure how dark this corner is really supposed to be. So there we go. Let's go ahead and put some more of an orange color underneath here for the shadow. At some point, I'm going to fix these eyebrows and put a shadow underneath the eyebrows. They're supposed to be, I believe, uh, it looks too flat. So I got to double check on the original photo and then um, fix that. And it looks like I accidentally, um, that's the bad thing about oil painting is you can work on something and uh, totally forget what you've worked on, especially if it's almost done. And then you end up smearing it um, and putting your hand in it, which I've done so many times. Um, but yeah, I'll have to fix that at some point, but, um, I really enjoy working on the costumes. They're just a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, can you see me up here? Uh, barely. That's why I said I got to move this to a different table. I think I'll bring up today. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to go and get my table so I can put this on one table and not to worry about it. Also, I have a cat who just absolutely loves my seat and she won't get out of it sometimes. So she is sitting right behind me at the moment and she won't move. And I wanna finish up the one that I have of Mickey's kitchen so I can actually put it in my kitchen. Um, And funny enough, if you like my expensive palette, I actually uh, 
just use paper plates because um, it's just easy for me to mix the paints on there. And what I do is um, I take a, I bought this smaller, this one of the smaller Walmart plates. And then I bought this at the dollar store. It is, as you can see, a deviled egg container. And then when I am done for the day, I put this in here and I put the lid on and close it. And then it stays, you know, fresh for quite a few days, even a week or so. So that way I can, uh, you know, don't waste paint because um, often I'll, I'll not always use all the colors. And um, it, I just like working on this. So, uh, Let's go ahead while I'm doing this and fix. This definitely needs some type of coloring. It's too flat, but I need to fix that. It looks like um, Kevin smushed uh, some dark color on there by accident. And let's see, I need to grab a different paintbrush. I need to buy some more paintbrushes. I just had a bunch of them and then I don't know what happened to them. Hmm. See if I want to use this one. I think this one will be all right. But uh, I buy a lot of my brushes, like on kind of a bunch of them at once um, on Amazon. Uh, just because I go through so many, I think that's going to be too dark. Um, so I buy a bunch on there. And I used to have a deal with a company. Um where they would send me their brushes and I would promote them and such. But um, after a while, I didn't I didn't quite like them, the brushes. So I kind of went with a different one. But uh, I don't spend like crazy money because I can still accomplish the same thing as long as they're not like cheap plastic brushes or something. And they're nice. Um, I would just use those because... What's the point of spending crazy money when you can still accomplish the same thing with something that's not as expensive? But uh, I'll put drop shadows on these. I'm pretty sure it probably was like that in the original photo. Um, and I like, there's some really cute costumes that they have on uh, Disney characters in other countries. And that's where I usually use my references from are from uh, Asian Mickey Mouses and Minnie Mouses. And um, I've not done anything other than, um, than Mickey and Minnie. I'll eventually get some of the other characters. Um, I just don't, um, to be honest, I hate painting fur. I can do it, but I don't know. I just don't, it, I get, I get um, I get bored easily, and um, I don't like the t the amount of time it takes to do so, and I always end up brushing my artwork, which is not good. But uh, I'm I'm impatient sometimes, which is funny because I used to spend crazy amount of time doing um. pen and ink, like pointillism type stuff, stippling. And uh, that takes a very long time. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna fix this right here. I was already working on this, but um, I need to finish it a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I don't talk a lot usually. I mean, I do when I'm around some people, but then um, when I don't do it for a while and then you go and try to do videos, you it's, uh, it's taxing on your voice. Um, originally, I had done this area, but I didn't like... Um, I didn't like the way I, I had set it up, so I'm trying to... We'll just fade all this off in a shadow. Because there is already... Um, I need a 
brush we can fade this out with. And there's cat hair, of course. Because I have a million cats, I'm like the cat lady, but I'm a dude. I'm a dude lady, a dude cat man. Cat man do. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's fade that out. Let's fade it out. It's so quiet. I feel like I need my music on. Normally I would have music on. Um, yeah, I like that better. Now this side needs it. Cause, and now I'm going to forget where I've already put my arm. So I'm probably going to hopefully not regret um, coming over here and doing this side. Um, and if you're ever painting, like, if you'll notice in my style anyways, uh, photorealistic, um, I don't like being able to see... I'm not going to zoom in close on this, but like if you're painting and because of the canvas texture, you'll often catch that on edges if you're not, if you don't smooth them out and then you really notice that it's a, it's a painting and not like photorealistic. In my case, I like to be photorealistic. And, um, so, uh, you need to, to make sure you don't have those rough edges you've got to fade them out and like uh use thinner uh, i don't use thinners but i mean like oil um linseed oil is what i use to thin my paints i do not use any solvents whatsoever um, not even to clean my brush when i clean my brush i use dawn dish detergent um, because it's great for cleaning off oil on birds. So I tried it one time because when I, I used to paint oil paints when I was younger and it used to give me a horrible headache. So I had to stop painting. And so as I, when I get older, I'm like, Hey, wait, Dawn just detergent is used to get oil off birds all the time. So how about we try that? And it works. So that is how I clean my brushes all the time. I never, ever use uh, solvents whatsoever. So really the only fumes I have are ones from the oil paint itself, which um, I try not to be around too much. I feel like I'm Bob Ross now with this puffy sound. But as you can see, I've smoothed out my edges. And I want some more red in here. I used to watch Bob Ross actually all the time when I was younger, where I'd come home from school. And funny enough, when people ask me like what my inspirations were, and then they laugh at me when I say Bob Ross, but I'm like, hey, that man was smart and made tons of money. Although sadly, um, he was screwed out of well, his son especially. Um, if you've ever watched the documentary, um, the family, a family of people that he trusted in to take over his business, or they kind of took it over when he was getting old and feeble. And uh, they then took everything and they didn't give his son a dime. And uh, which is really sad because if you've seen, watched his old stuff, you'd remember um, that he, his dad used to have him on the show and paint. And, uh, sadly those people are, that's why I will never purchase anything that has Bob Ross on it. Um, not for disrespect to him, but I'm not giving money to people who did that to Bob Ross's company. All they cared about is money. And that's sad. I mean, yeah, the business is, it's, life is how you make money, business to survive and such, but taking advantage of people is, is not cool. So, and not that my stuff is worth a ton of money, but I, I've already discussed <laughs> with my kids um, about um, my collectibles and all that stuff, and I would hope that they are nice about it and um, I don't know that they even want any of my stuff. 
Probably not. Just trying to get that. Uh, uh, let's get a little bit of that. I don't need some white there. I need wired to get rid of that hardness there. And my son's birthday, Jordan, is this weekend, and I can't believe he is already going to be 12 years old. That makes me so old. Crazy. So I think that's going to be it for now on this one, just because I don't want to make a smeared mess. So I'm going to finish this one for now, but we'll come back and... Uh, let me know if you're interested in these kind of videos. Um, I I like sharing my art with people and stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. And have yourself a magical day. Bye-bye.